And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Imperion Galactic Survival. Alright, we have a nice neodymium deposit right underneath us. So, without further ado, we're going to try to get right over the top of it here. Start mining into it. All right, I'm starting to see little shades of blue. Looks like we've got quite a lot. Oh yeah, this is gonna be very fruitful. Oh, look at all the big boulders down here, Neodymium. So I'm probably in between episodes in the future, we're gonna be a little while from now, we're gonna need to find a planet with a lot of Promethium on it. I wanna mine some Promethium so we can uh, ramp up our power systems. Because I've, I've been having, this whole time, I've had hydrogen generators going, and I wanna make some fusion cells, and those things, those things eat so much Promethium. Basically, every five ore that you get Requires. Yeah, there we go. Now you can actually see what neodymium looks like. Oh, we have to. We have to reload. We're not getting any XP for this. Huh? I wonder why that was. Oh, we're not getting XP because we're maxed out. That's right. Gotta keep an eye on that drone over there too. As long as it's going away from us, we don't we don't mind too much. Look at all the neodymium around me here. Just gotta pick a direction and mine it out. Oh yeah, there see there's a drone over there. It's getting a little close. Is he going to come in closer? No, he's going to move away. Okay, any other dronage? Seems to be the only one over there. Alright. Trying to get some aluminium here. I will make it be able to do some uh, more advanced tech. Not the top tier stuff, but uh, a little bit better. Because these two ores used to be on our moon, and they're not anymore. So we got to go out and venture out and find them. And Ningis is the best place for it. So we're probably, probably going to need to make a simple capital vessel. That was a that was a big blob there. So we need to make a uh, a simple capital vessel in order to get out. I think we'll have to look at the we'll have to look at the sector map once we make one jump to see how far away Aetis is. But we need a lot of neodymium because it's used for some good stuff. Can't, you can't really get it any other way. Okay. Picking up a lot of crushed stone, which is okay. If we ever want to make a, a base somewhere on another planet, a lot of concrete really quickly to build up. Alright. Some of these other bubbles, I'm not sure. Keep an eye on that drone. It's a 
coming in a little close. Maybe it doesn't see us. Yeah, I don't think it sees us. Making me nervous though, having those drones flying around me. bigger than that. Gotta watch my oxygen too. This is not a breathable atmosphere on this on this planet. Which is weird because it's got snow on it and it's got trees on it. It's weird that it's not uh, a good atmosphere. No, uh, Aitis, Aitis is a very hostile planet. And if you've got, you know, if you've got the temperature and radiation simulation going in your game, you are going to have a very hard time on those on that planet because of how tough it is. That's a big one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, almost 800 on that one blob. out. There's probably one more behind here. That's what it looks like anyway. Yep. A couple actually probably behind there. Twenty-five percent left. I think we're gonna try to get some of these bigger blobs in here. There's still a little twenty-five percent left of twenty or ten thousand, so there's still twenty-five hundred in here. And I think some of these bigger, bigger blobs are gonna have it in there. More, more bulk, more of the bulk of it. Huge chunk right there. Let's try to get these last bits here. see closer closer to the surface some of the bigger blobs are up here so how much is left 
out of this. 12%, so... 1,200 or so. I think that that one's probably going to be 400. And those two combined, I don't know, 300. I'm trying to dig my way up to this thing here. This might be a little smaller than I thought it was. There it is. So my guess was 400. Oh, 350. That was close. It's a lot of digging to get to it, though. That's what I mean by the this process. It's like these things are so far away from one another. These might be about about 300 of these two combined. Let's see, 144 plus 170. Oh, I was almost exact with that. Okay, so we got those two, but uh, combined, uh, there's the uh, five percent. So 500. Not, not gonna worry about that. And uh, to get out of this hole, there we go. Excellent. Okay. So we came, we saw, and we conquered. Now these drones that have been bugging me the whole time. Giant Sathium deposit, which is awesome. Alright. So I'm not sure what other bits and bobs are on this, but like POI wise, what's what's on here? Look at that Sathium. Oh, 12,000 Sathium. Yeah, my edits definitely took hold. silicon there's some pentaxid on this place but uh, I want to get out during this episode see if we can't warp see how far the Aitis planet is away I'd love to be able to get there with a small vessel because no no capital vessel that we'd be able to build right now would be able to manage manage the uh, maneuverability that we're going to need. So let's see. Let's go to our map. Back to Akua. And it's down. Of course, it's the other side of the planet, but uh, we can warp ourselves through. right through that planet. Okay. Let's fill this back up. Go back to the sector map. Let's see how far Skillion is away. 14.7. Let's lock this target. Okay, Skillion. Let's check the sector map. Okay, it is 20.8 AU. Can't make it with this ship, nor can we make Oscatoon. So, Skillion is just where uh, the only option that we have here. And Skillion has Neodymium and Sathium as well. Um, interesting. That, oh, there it is. Also, Neodymium and Sathium. So, but Aitis is really where we have to go. Uh, for the restroom and all the good stuff. Uh, 
from that. So let's go back to Akua. Yeah, we got uh, quite a lot of neodymium out of that. Look at how much we got. I love it. We got quite a bit. Now we got to keep an eye out for that capital ship that was floating around here somewhere. Might be on the other side of the planet. probably take it on with my ship, but it would probably have weapons way better than mine. Plus its range would be way better too. Because I want to land and set up my uh, furnace to cook me up some glorious bars here. Look at that, we're right on top of our base. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Although it is nighttime, so lighting is limited. I could probably turn on my night vision here, but that's a little that's a little much. Okay, I want to turn my auto brake on. A, just a quick trip around the solar system, you know, it's it's all good. There we go, got my light on. I'm gonna grab the Sathium that I picked up. Didn't quite get as much Sathium as I got Neodymium, but uh, I can always go back uh, to Ningis and grab all of that. So, looks like Neodymium comes before Sathium. So I'm gonna do uh, Neodymium, Sathium, Neodymium, Sathium, Neodymium, Sathium. And then all the way across, and then turn this beast on, and it just automatically will do uh, the ores in the order that they appear in here. So it'll do all this neodymium, then it'll go, and oh, there's some sathium, and then it'll go, oh, neodymium, sathium, and it'll just. So if you have all of the different kinds of ores, you can put them in here, and, uh, you know automate that process pretty easily um, but we're gonna need the restroom and we're gonna need quite a lot of materials before I feel comfortable uh, how much fuel did we go through in that little that little jaunt oh, we didn't do too bad and uh, let's grab a little oxygen and then I can take back up what I can. Now I wish there was a fast furnace like system. Because this is this is fast. I mean this will process this stuff so fast. I wish there was a system like this to process Prometheum because this stuff takes a long time to process. And if I go over here I moved all of our all of my processing over on this side because I want room, I want this room for something else over here uh, okay coming, ugh, get out of there so water 
We have lots of water, and then all of this stuff. A large amount of hydrogen. Granted, it's 10 hydrogen, I think, for every two. So it's basically five hydrogen per fusion cell. And I think I've got 20 of these things going. And I've got large Promethean packs to feed all of this. And might as well grab the water out of here. 400 something water. Not too bad. Okay. I think all my plants are also ready to ready to come at me. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, you get two stacks of ingots for every one stack of ore. So works out pretty well. So there's the hydrogen. If we go to components, we should see. Yep, there's the fusion cell right there. Now let's put the water on here. This is ready for another round of food. And look at all the food. So yeah, I've used the farm more or less to level myself up quite a bit. And uh, now that we're now that we're max level. I can come in here in the tech trees, go to weapons, uh, laser pistol tier two. So pretty much everything is unlocked in there. Tools, everything's unlocked there and there. There. Let's uh, get these other thrusters unlocked. There we go. So I can actually make a pretty decent small vessel these thruster jets three by 13 that's a huge thruster jet for a small vessel yeah you can make a gigantic small vessel compared to you know you can make a giant small vessel or a small capital vessel i don't know if we're gonna have enough points for all of this stuff barely barely enough points for all of that stuff I don't even have offline protection enabled. So there's one more. 30 points. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I have barely enough for that offline protection. This is right down to the wire of how many things I have unlocked and how many points I need. So good times. We are now fully upgraded and fully enabled. And what does it take to make those tier three mining things? Uh, let's go over here. Devices, the mining drones. There they are. Yeah, Zasconium, Zascosium, Zascosium alloy and we don't have and power coils yeah so we need the arrestrum and the zasconium in order to make these in order to put down to mine what we want i'm gonna make an atm machine i kind of want to i kind of want to dig into the trading on this game a little bit and see um i mean i've got some i got some gold coins and i can go mine some gold uh when the time comes but yeah i want to I want to see just how much wealth I can accumulate in this game. Um, I'll put it, uh, let's see, where do I want to put this thing? Put it right over here. Just like that. And I can just take my gold coins. And I got 500 credits. It's 50 credits a piece. And then you can go to the trading stations. Uh, I think there's one here. It's so the more or less neutral. I thought there was one right up here. I might be wrong though. Could very well be wrong. Com center, outpost farm. 
yeah, there's. I need to go. I need to go take out the drone thing. Oh, there it is. The T.S. Akua. It's just that it's in that. It's barely visible right there because it's on top of the, all that snow. But uh, yeah, we got a ton of POIs that we can go raid here. So we might start. We might start hammering out those um, one after the the other here, just to clear this planet and uh, be able to move on to uh, bigger and better things. Uh, so one thing I'm going to want, if we go to blueprints, I can't make the hive carrier uh, because we need a ton of that Zascosium and Arrestrum and obviously we don't have that. The Neodymium and the Sathium, we definitely have a lot of that now, but these, these other two, because the rocket turrets now take it, and the minigun turrets might take some. So we, we can't actually build that. So we might have to resort to maybe a basic, like a, maybe a tier two. No, see, a restroom 173. Restroom 13s. Oh, yeah, see, we can't even make it a tier one. Uh, I might need to make a capital vessel that is just the absolute bare necessities, bare minimum. Uh, you know, basically just a a warp drive and thrusters and maybe a cargo bay for this thing. Uh, so we can take this thing uh, on our on our way and then this will have to be this will be the the workhorse. So fly into a system or warp into a system and jump into this and land on a planet with this thing. So we might have to might have to squeak by and and uh, make that happen. Uh, but that'll have to be a future episode. Uh, we'll be tackling some of the POIs on this planet coming up. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.